What's up everyone? Today we are going to be growing microgreens on a dehydrator mat with the intention of it being a reusable grow medium. So stay tuned for this video. The reason why we chose these type of screens is because this is actually made to be in contact with food, though it's not necessarily meant for water to be with it, but we think that this is a better choice than using something that we're not sure if food can be grown on it safely. So this is what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing that we need to do is cut our screen to the size of our tray, which I've already done here in front of me, and that way we don't have to do this on camera. So now I have this placed down here, and it's basically pretty easy from this point forward. We just need to weigh out our seed, which today we're going to be using this superfood microgreen mix from Rainbow, Rainbow, Rainbow Heirloom seeds. <laughs> so we're going to be using 10 grams of seeds for this size tray. So let's go ahead and get that weighed out. Sometimes with the mixes, it's a little bit different since there's bigger seeds in here. So I don't know if it's quite a tablespoon. Looks like it's going to be just under a tablespoon. Because of the radish seeds in this, they were a little bit heavier. <laughs> okay, so now let's just take this and we're just going to seed this. It's really nice because you can see everything on the tray. So I know exactly where my seeds are going. Oops, stick in. So one thing you might notice is because it's mesh on mesh, the seeds aren't falling through the holes. So we're able to do these smaller seeds. Now, I don't know if something as small as like amaranth per se would be good on this, because I have a feeling it would probably just fall straight through, but it is good for most of these seeds. Now, we just need to water it. So this is where it's gonna get really interesting in the grow, because you wanna make sure your seeds are wet enough to germinate, but because this isn't a medium that retains water, you have to pay attention throughout the germination process so that way we can actually get these to grow. But we're gonna pay attention to that during this grow. All right, now all that we have left to do now that we have watered this is we are going to place a tray on top of this. And the reason why I'm not using this bottom one is because I don't wanna accidentally mess up the mesh screen. So let's do that and put our brick on top of this. This will help us trap in all that moisture, get these seeds germinating. And all we have left to do is put this on our dark shelf and I'm gonna come out later today and give it a second mist. So I'll see you guys probably tomorrow and we'll see how this is looking. Today is day two of our mesh screen and I'm really excited to see what's happening. So let's remove this brick and carefully pull that up. And heck yes, you guys, we are getting really great germination on this. And even on the sides, I'm so happy. So let me grab my water, got to switch hands, and let's give these a nice light mist. And I believe that is perfect. So now we're just gonna place this brick back on top, put it back on our dark shelf, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Today is day three of our grow, so let's pull off this brick, remove our top lid, and you guys, we are having a successful grow here. We're getting tons of great even germination, we're getting lots of root hairs, and oh my goodness, look at that. That's what I wanna see. So something I do wanna take care of real quick is all the seeds at the bottom. So I'm just gonna carefully maneuver that over. And we're gonna clean this out because that will start to rot with this water down here and it will get very stinky, you don't want that. So let's just kinda wipe that out. I have a little bucket down here that we take to our compost. So now let's put this back on top of there water it so that way we can keep this grow happy a nice good watering i think that should be good we're just going to place that lid back on top put this brick back on top put it on our dark shelf and i will see you guys tomorrow today is day four of our grow so i'm going to remove this brick and let's take a look at this Ooh. So our tray is still looking really, really good. We have solid germination, solid growth, and I believe today these are ready for blackout. But before we do that, oh yeah, we got happy roots as well. So everything on this grow is looking awesome right now. I'm so happy about that. So what I need to do is give this a nice light watering. And then I'm going to get the roots just a little bit. That way they don't dry out at all. They continue to stay that beautiful white color and now we are going to wipe this off because it's dirty and now that lid that was like this with weight on top of it we're going to reverse it 
like this into a nice blackout dome and I'm gonna put this on my dark shelf and I will see you guys tomorrow for another update. Today is day five of our grow, so let's pull off our blackout dome and look at these. So I am loving the height that these are at and I believe today we are going to take this out of blackout, introduce these into light and give them water. But before we do that, I wanna take a look at these roots and our root structure is still looking absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and get these bottom watered real quick. So I have grabbed two cups of my Ocean Solution water mixture and we're just gonna pour that in there. Place this down, double check it. Yep, roots are touching. So what I'm gonna do also is I'm going to grab my mister, give this a light mist since this is a dehydrator uh, mat. I wanna make sure that there's nothing not getting water. And now we are going to place this on our shelf underneath our lights. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another update when these guys have greened up a little bit. It is the day six of our grow and these are looking so good. Everything's looking happy, we have nice and greened up. We got one little guy right here who's trying to survive, he's doing a great job, our roots are looking perfect. And I think overall we have a successful grow happening. So I will see you guys here in a few days with another update and it will probably actually be on harvest day. So I'll see you then. Today is day 10 of our superfood grow on this dehydrator screen and it looks so good. So let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. So here in front of me, I have my beautiful microgreens. Everything is looking very solid. I think this is a pretty good height here. Got some nice pinks in there, which is really pretty. And overall, this grow looks really good. One thing I do notice, because this is a mixed seed, is that our radish are quite a bit ahead of everything else. They're very tall, and we got a lot of this true leaf coming through, mostly on those. Everything else seems to just now be getting into like slight stages of the true leaf, which is why today is going to be harvest day. So we're going to see how it's like harvesting this. What I want to do now is I'm going to get my little station all set up and we are going to actually dig in with that knife and take a closer look at this. A little later. Now I have my little setup over here. I got my knife ready and let's start harvesting this. So right now it's going to be our first little swoop in. I'm curious to see if that, oh, it's not coming up. So something I was worried about was the medium actually coming up whenever I go to harvest it, and it looks like it's actually sticking really well. Ooh, and the, oh my God, you can just smell the brassica flavor in this. Oh my goodness, and those look good. So let me go ahead and put this in here, and let's continue this harvest. I can see that we got really good germination too. I'm trying to pay attention to see if I see any signs of mold as I'm harvesting this. See a little bit, there is a tiny spot over here. So we'll take a look at that here in a moment. I'm trying to harvest decently high up. So that way we don't get anything that's down there in the bottom mixed into our nice greens here. I'm just loving the colors of this. It's like a little sunset mixed into your greens every once in a while. Clean that off. Okay. I think overall during this grow, it's been a really good experience. And the coloration on these is really nice too. Like my greens that I'm having. I will say that the radish is a little bit lighter than I like, but I think that's just because it grew much faster than everything else. So what did we get for our weight? 165 grams. So that's pretty good. I'm actually really happy with our harvest weight there. And I think that the experience with harvesting this was really easy. <laughs> None of the medium came up at all. I didn't have any issues with that whatsoever. So I wanna take at the look at these roots because that means we got a super healthy root structure. That's what was really holding that medium down and keeping it from coming up. So that's good. And then now I just want to take a look at the medium, what's going on underneath here. So something I am noticing is a little bit of this mold down here. 
So it's something to be aware of. And I think that that was one, the seeds decaying, which that just happens. And two, because there is a lot of moisture going on because of all the water that's kept underneath it, you're just gonna see more signs of mold. Something that I would suggest if you're going to be using this grow medium is throughout the grow, the grow, <laughs> the grow, <laughs> make sure you kind of mix it with a nice sanitizing spray like hydrogen peroxide. That way we can just combat anything that might be going on on it before we start to grow with it. And if you are seeing things like this happen during your grow, you can spot treat it as well like we've talked about in some of our other videos. So I wanna talk about what it's like actually getting this out of here. So I'm gonna grab a tray real quick because this might get messy. <laughs> so to get this out of here, what you're going to do is just come over, grab a hold either of a corner of it or the microgreens, whatever you can grab onto, and just kind of pull it up. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's difficult. It really just depends on what your root structure looks like. And we got a really strong root structure. For the most part, it's really not that bad. I'm gonna pull it from this corner now so I don't sling that everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay. And then what you'd want to do is just try to clean off as much of this as possible. Uh, some of the people that we've seen whenever they clean this, what they'll do is they'll take their nails or something that they can use and just kind of scrape all that off of there the best they can. Um, or what we like to do, you can also do this. This way I find it's a little bit easier just kind of plucking them out. It's actually really easy to get this off of here. Now this is one of the great things about this medium is that you're able to pull all your stuff away from this. And from this point forward, this becomes actually a reusable medium. You just have to keep it sanitized and clean in between grows. And also when you're harvesting, make sure you don't accidentally cut this because it will slice it and you know make it unusable. All right, see that was not too bad. Got most of that out of there. Just a little bit of roots on the back. I'm just kind of go like that, get them all off. Still got some roots on this side. For the most part though, it comes off pretty quick. I think once I get a system down for this, I'm gonna be real fast. <laughs> all right, now that I've got most of that debris off of there, what I'm gonna do is take this big old clunk of stuff right here, try and drain some of it so it's gonna get everywhere, um, and put it into my little compost bucket that we have. And then later, I'm gonna take this out to my big outdoor compost where it can do its thing. So what we need to do now is I want to take this outside. We're gonna get this all rinsed off the rest of the way and I'll see you guys here outside. <laughs> all right y'all, so I'm outside now. I have my hose here set up to this little spray nozzle which is set on flat. So it's a nice powerful wash. And what we need to do is take this little screen here, put it on a nice surface and we're just gonna kind of spray as much of that debris off as we can. Oh. You can see it's actually coming off pretty quick. Okay, I'm gonna pick that part off my finger because it's stuck in there. Every once in a while, there might be a couple that are just kind of wedged in there. You can just pluck them out. All right, let's turn it over. I almost sprayed the camera guy because it got stuck. Now that we have rinsed off our medium here, what we like to do is set it out into the sun for a little bit. That way you can get a little bit of UV sterilization. And then after this has dried off and set out here for a little while, what we like to do after that is take a little hydrogen peroxide spray and spray both sides of this and just let it dry. And then we can reuse it next time for another grow of microgreens. All right, guys, so we have made it from start to finish using a dehydrator screen for growing microgreens. Now, I think I'm gonna continue using this medium because it worked really well. The only thing that is a challenge with it is keeping the seeds moist during the beginning. But once you get past that, it's a really incredible medium to use and I get to reuse this on my next grow. So that's awesome. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We have a website, which is www.onthegrow.net, where we actually have some new merchandise available on there as well. So check that out. And we have a Facebook and Instagram. They're both at On The Grow Farms. Thank you so much. Keep on believing and use those dehydrator screens.